So another morning, another supermarket breakfast. We've got about 105k today to get to the ferry. We've got to be there at five o'clock. So there's a bit of a race on today. We don't want the uh, same narrow margins that we had on Sunday. We've got a quarter past six ferry over to pool. And then we've got to find some accommodation once we get the pool. So our last day in France. Three K down. It's been a good start so far. Yeah. It's beautiful weather. Just so um, the end of the trip. Just any normal countryside, isn't it? it could be, we could be in any country yeah. at the minute, apart from Se the French road signs. Second half of yesterday and today has been a bit. It's been nice. Yeah. It's it always just hasn't been as good as the. It's all new roads. The previous two days, but it's still lovely. It's nice as the everything's and, new. And the sun's out. Confident for the ferry? We've only got 84k to go, and it's 20 past 10. Got a long way left, but I'm gonna make it there tonight. Got my songs on the stereo. It's been a long time coming, but I know we're gonna be alright. Got an open road, I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. We've just come across this trail that's on our route today and we just noticed the sign says it's only actually 62 kilometres to Cherbourg. How long have we actually got left on our route? 78. 78. 79. So we cut off a whole 10 miles, 16k, by sticking on this route. What say you? I think we do it, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? There's no cars, it's a beautiful trail. It goes through a few towns so we can resupply and stop for drinks. And... Do we need to reset the route? Yeah, I think we'll replan the route. Sounds good to me. If you're keen. That, that gets our 16k back that we lost yesterday in the diversions. <laughs> Use current location. Start here. We want to be probably bike touring if we're on this route. Bike touring. We call it the La Fraise line, French strawberry line. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complete contrast to day one, wasn't it? Where we we're always in the back of our mind, then are we gonna make that ferry? Are we gonna yeah, make that ferry? and now and we've got hours. It's just taken, yeah, it's taken the stress out of it. It's lovely. We can just stop and, and chill, have a proper lunch. Birds and lovely. This is what bikepacking should be, <laughs> shouldn't it? Not doing 105 miles, and then if I know you've got another. 16k deviation because yeah. the French have decided to hold the national championships when you want to bike pack through the territory and not tell you where the route is and, or then, like that. No. <laughs> and that, that's where my limited French doesn't help because we can't have a conversation to figure out what the hell's going on yeah we, we did struggle a little bit yesterday <laughs> but we got there in the end but yeah that's one thing I'd say if you're going bike packing abroad is to learn a few greetings and phrases and things because it's very much appreciated here isn't it yeah we, we were saying earlier wouldn't it this is it we're going to miss how friendly everybody is yeah everybody. especially having bikes and traveling through their country they love saying hello and yeah. finding out where we're from and where we're going everybody says bonjour see you eating they say bon appetit yeah even in the campsite <laughs> <laughs> no it's been lovely here yeah. 
Bonjour. We've only been and bought the whole of the boulangerie. We what? might have just found the best shop in France. <laughs> <laughs> what a selection! What have, isn't we, there? what have you gone with? I've gone for a oh, ham croissant. and cheese croissant. With yeah. Cheese on top. A strawberry pastry, and then a saucisson baguette. Blow me! I've just gone for a, a New York baguette and a café glace, which oh. is. My favourite French patisserie. It is. It is. What a specimen. <laughs> We're at the first climb of three today. I think we had 33 on day one, 20 most of the other days, 10 yesterday. This is officially the flattest day. And I know you're going to be asking how you're feeling, Darren. Six days of back to back cycling, uh, 600 and something okay. Um, I'm feeling okay actually. I'm so surprised how good my legs are. They are such a surprise. Obviously, tapered really well. Uh, but yeah, backside on the saddle becomes uncomfortable after a while. Hands on the handlebars. But my main problem is my lower right back, just above my right leg. I had to take some painkillers this morning because it was quite painful. But on the whole, completely surprised myself how I've done this week with how little riding I've done. And we've got just about 18k left. Is this left over from D Day? So Pete, we made it with an hour and 20 to spare in the end. It was a less stressful day than I thought it was going to be first thing this morning. You tried to make it more stressful, taking us three miles down there. <laughs> well, I don't know where we're going. You, you seem now to know what, where you were going and you um, you weren't that convincing to go, no, it's definitely this way. I don't think you would have believed me anyway. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, super stress-free day. I think it would have been tight if we'd have done the longer route. And now we've got a six hour ferry to pool. Five, six hours. Yeah. Five, six hours. It's time to relax. Oh, yeah. Time in France is over. No. Well, we've probably got another kilometre or so. Sad feet. That's our last cycling of kilometres and metres in France. One last hill. One last hill up the ramp. Yeah. 
Um, so, what do we think we noticed first about getting back to England? The potholes or the bad driving? <laughs> Could be both at the same time. <laughs> We've been, we've been spoiled rock this week, haven't we? Uh, yeah, there's there's no better place to cycle than in France. The, 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 the cars are just very courteous. So much respect from the drivers. The people are lovely. Everybody wants to know where you're going. I'm going to miss it. We've chatted more waiting to board the ferry than we have all week, I think. <laughs> people wanting to know everything. Yeah. It's been good. You're going to miss, miss it. You've been here for quite some time. Oh, yeah, you don't need a card, it's just switches, Pete. <laughs> you didn't know that either. <laughs> so just a wild frantic dash in the dark. I've got no contact lenses in. I've only, I'm not prepared at all for the ferry. I don't have a charger for my phone or anything. Um, so I couldn't really see. I was just following Pete's flashing red light. So that was scary for me, but he enjoyed it. But we've managed to find the travel lodge in Poole. We're gonna get ourselves rested here and set off in the morning. We've got about 93K home tomorrow. Um, hopefully not into a headwind. <laughs> Are you hoping we've left the headwind behind? Oh, did you not feel it on the way here? We can, we know we're gonna have a headwind. A headwind every day. But... We're back in old Blighty. Au revoir, France. Yes. Sad. I'm looking forward to sleep to us. Are you tired? <laughs> I'm not in a minute, no, I, I had a little nap on the on the boat. Oh. But till tomorrow. It was a lovely ride today. Lovely ride. Yeah. This whole thing is so bizarre. Alaska by R of Y.